We are going to plant our onions and strawberries in the raised bed. So here we go. Good morning. It's time to feed the animals. I'm out here with Everett. <laughs> Love the sound of the birds, the metal larks especially in the springtime. <laughs> Love that sound. Hi, Buttercup. Whoops. <laughs> Hi, and here come the chickens. <laughs> Still more coming, huh? There they go for the day. Off to explore and find food. Pretty amazing to me that chickens <laughs> chickens will go out and eat grass and bugs all day and come back and lay eggs for us. It's pretty awesome. In the warm months, we basically have have a zero dollar bill for taking care of 50 hens. And I don't mind sharing. It keeps our kitty friendly. And she's a good mouser. Thank you, Buttercup. See you, kitty. Okay, I want to first show you this view that I have every day. I'm going to go back where I was. Because this is the view that I see most days when I'm milking. And I can't even tell you how far it's come. And I think the reason it's come so far is because I have so much time to sit and stare at it. This roof line, you can see on the front where it's so shallow. That shallow roof was continued on the other side as well, and all the way across. There was no peak, there was no high roof. So you can see how far it's come. And again, that's just from dreaming. You know, I used to stare at that and imagine um, these peaks, imagine how, how cool it would be. And I still look at it and see it not the way it is so much, but, but the way it will be. And, you know, of course, I, I know that it's, <coughs> that it's not finished, but things don't happen unless you have a vision of what can happen. And if you see it in its perfect form, then you can more clearly know how to get there. Little life lesson for the day, I guess. <laughs> We are going to plant our onions and strawberries in the raised bed. Got a little bit of work to do on the bed itself, 
but rather than plan so long that we don't actually accomplish anything, we're just going to go and do <laughs> and accomplish as we go along. So here we go. Lucky. Oh yeah? Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Right, want me to hold you? Okay. Here we are. So, I'm gonna add some soil to this. And so I'm gonna do a little bit of weeding and add this potting soil and get this hay mixed in there. And we've got some leaves. And then we can plant our strawberries and onions in one half and our brassicas in the other half. And the more organic stuff is in there, the more alive it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining rain. Good job, Everett. That's the way to spread it out. More? Yeah, let's spread it out all along there. You want to do that? Can we step on the dead plants? Yep, you can. You guys are doing great. We decided to join you and we're gonna eat dinner with you. Yay! Outside. Burritos. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, come on over here. And have a prayer. Okay. Whichever way you want. Just I like having a family out here. Uh, eventually I want to like raise these pillars up and then have an arbor and have it be like grapes and roses. Like oh. draped with grapes and roses. The whole tunnel. That'd be so awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you. I've got a few strawberries planted. I'm very happy with that. But these strawberries, and maybe even these onions, will do really well because they're in the ground now, as opposed to waiting for the perfect garden bed and the perfect soil, and then you know risking losing them in the meantime. So I'm very happy to have gotten this done. And uh, there's about six, five or six more sections this size. That's it for today. Thanks so much for joining us. I really appreciate you watching. And uh, have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's like autumn time, but in the springtime, it's great. <laughs> You're winning. <laughs> I won.